Welcome back, everybody. I know the, the sound is a little bit loud, so I'm going to um, just start a game here and uh, adjust. Get my levels here. I think that's probably good. They say that when it rains, while the sun is shining, a witch is getting married. This isn't always correct. Yes, it's true that when a witch weds, the sun and clouds both send their blessings down at once as a beautiful sun shower. But it's important to remember that the presence of a sun shower doesn't necessarily indicate a witch wedding. Sometimes sun showers just happen. Oh, we're getting a raid. No Zero is, is raiding with a party. Hello. Hi, everybody. Shout out to no, Zero, I hope, I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Thank you for the raid. I really appreciate it. Sarunoni, hello. QQ raid. Hi, guys. Really appreciate the raid. Really, really appreciate you sharing your community with us. Uh, what game were you playing or what were you doing? Shoot, I don't have anything copy pasted. That's OK. <laughs> Um, well, welcome, uh, uh, welcome in everybody. I, I really appreciate the, the raid and for you guys sharing your community with us. My name is Mr. Shins. Oh, was also playing Spooktober. Excellent. We played March in line. Oh, how was it? Um, so glad that we got more Spooktober people here. We're doing, um, a witch is getting married right now and we just did sunk. Um, and we're going to have a talk with, we've had, we're, we just had a talk with the developers of Sunk and we're going to have a talk with the developers of Witch, getting, of Witch is Getting Married right after this. It was very good and gave me an existential crisis. Oh no. <laughs> um, well, I'm so glad that you guys chose to rate us. Um, very, very happy to have you here. Um, my name is Mr. Shins. Um, I play games with stories. Uh, and uh, of course, we're doing uh, uh, Spooktober visual novel jams. We're doing once a week here on Wednesdays. Um, the rest of the time we do JRPGs and that kind of thing. Um, tend to do the voices of characters. So I hope you don't you won't mind that. Um, but uh, uh, welcome. And uh, you guys are absolutely welcome here. Uh, if you need to uh, de-stream, as they say, uh, and, and take a break and take care of yourself, please do. Please don't feel obligated to stay. But, but I'm so happy that you guys came in and, and thank you. Very cool to have. Uh, I think I think maybe this is the first time we've had somebody from a Spooktober stream raid us. So, woohoo! <sighs> okay, we just started. Time says, I want to get married. To whom? I don't know. But can't you imagine me in a wicked little wedding dress made from bat wings or trout scales? You're always wanting to use animal parts. You know you could just make it out of cobwebs or pumpkin vines. I think you'd look really pretty. 
You guys, please give uh, No Zero a follow. Uh, it's free. I'd look pretty in anything. You're so full of yourself. Hence the bat wings. I'd wear the ugliest dress I could make just to show that I could pull it off. Going to get married just for the ceremony? Just to show off? Yep. Oh yeah? Nothing at all to do with romance then. Nope. So all those love potions I found under your bed last May, those were just for fun? Hey, I thought we agreed not to talk about that. I seem to remember you telling me about a dream of featuring a tall, luscious swamp thing who came out of the lake and told you she was yours now and forever. She was so pretty. But nope, no, no way. You're definitely not a romantic. Widdershin says we all dream of tall, luscious swamp things. Okay, you got me. You know me too well. You're a catch. You'll find someone's. We'll f you'll find someone sweet for you. I know, I know, but I want it now. So impatient. It'll happen. Maybe even with someone you know already. What? Oh, you mean Hyssop? She's cute, but we're just friends. Plus, she's not really tied to the mortal plane, and I'm looking for something serious, you know? Not her. Someone else. Well, I love to meet this hypothetical person that I already know. Anyway, is it time for the incantation yet? Saf? Yeah. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yes. I'd say it's steeped long enough. Sweet. Ready? You know it. <laughs> B-O-G-O. -O. Let's go! <laughs> uh, you can take this box. O G G O, let's go. It's a, it's a song, right? Josh says yes. I'd one hundred percent order a burrito if it was called that. <laughs> you can take this bog to go. Okay, I get it. All right. I told you yeah, this you... last night. I prepped you. You failed. I failed. Thank you, Witterson, says Pumpkin <laughs> Gordman. Witterson's got it. <sighs> Zero says, yes, I love it when the song stuck in my head van manifests itself. Was that really in your head, Zero? Thank you for getting the reference, says Widget. Yeah, Witterson wins this one because I, I didn't get it. <laughs> yes. The perfect instant bog potion. It smells so mossy and fetid. Absolutely lovely bouquet. Your potions are seriously perfect, Safflower. Oh, come on. It was a team effort. I don't know. I just lent some ingredients. You're the one who always gets the quantities right and makes it so beautiful. Stop it. I have the coolest best friend in the world. I love you, girl. Aww. Okay, I have some studying I need to get done, but I'll see you soon, yeah? Next week? Yeah, next week is good. Maybe next time you can stay the night. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bye. I love you. Bye. Love you too. Yo, time. Shoo, I'm trying to study. So, like, you know who she was talking about when she said, someone you already know. <laughs> this, this is my voice for Nutmeg. <laughs> Which it says, oh, the voice, I love that. <laughs> I'm glad you approve. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. What? You're not really so stupid, are you? What are you talking about? Oh... You think she was talking about herself? Obviously. 
No, no. Safflower knows that we're just friends. Remember, she asked me out back in January and I told her I'd rather just us be friends? She's over it. I'm not so sure. Plus, you're not making it that easy for her, telling her you love her constantly, hugging her, praising her. I'm an affectionate person. She knows I'm like that with everyone. Okay, you're not like that with everyone. Okay, well, she's my best friend. I love her so much. She's special to me. I know I'm just saying it may be confusing for her. What's confusing about having a best friend? Ugh, I'm not getting anywhere with you. I don't know. Maybe I do have feelings for her. But right now I just want to be friends. It can be hard for me to separate platonic and romantic stuff. I don't want to be with her if I'm not 100% sure that I actually like her that way. I don't want to play with her feelings. I fear you might be playing with her feelings right now. I don't think so. I made it pretty clear to her where we stand. Yes, but actions speak louder than words, and your actions right now are like girlfriend actions, not best friend actions. How would you know? You spend half the day reading comics and chasing spiders in the attic. Lady, I've been around for 1,000 years. I think I know a thing or two about romance. Whatever. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, okay. Just something to think about is all. Widdershin says, I freaking love Nutmeg and even love them more now. Safflower. Hey. How was your week? Good. Yeah, um... It was good. My week was great. Oh, good. I've been working on the coolest spell, a charm that clears out the sky and allows you to see every star so brightly. It works kind of like a sieve, sieve for clouds. I'm pretty proud of it. Sounds like a classic. Yes, I was thinking that maybe I could show it to you tonight on the roof. There's supposed to be a meteor shower. I could grab a couple hammocks and we could sleep out under the stars. Sieve, says Splashy Jazzy. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know all the words. Actually, I don't think I'm going to be able to stay too late, and I can't stay the night. Oh, well, that's okay. We can do the spell another time. Yeah, sure. I mean, well, um, time, there's something I need to tell you. Traditions. I can't, I have ADHD, I can't remember, I can't remember that word. That word is a blind spot for me. But you're seething with anger, says Pumpkin Corbin. <laughs> uh, wait, okay, for the record, it's sieve or sieve? It's sieve, isn't it? She's just typing. Sieve. Or is that sieve? Is the, is the I, <laughs> Jazzy says sieve. Widget says, well, I'm the writer and, and pronounce it like give. So it's a sieve. Okay. It's a sieve. No, S-I-V. That, uh, that means uh, site initiation visit. Siyive. <laughs> Jesse lies. Okay, moving on. I think it's either or. I, I will accept that. If I could be right and wrong at the same time, that'd be great. Okay, time, there's something I need to tell you. Oh yeah, sure, everything okay? Yeah, really good, I think. I just need to tell you something. I did a summoning. Oh, cool, I mean, like, wow, that's big magic. W what did you summon? Is that why you weren't around last night? Just a minor white. He haunts one of the crypts out past the Dreadwood. One of the small ones. Even so, super impressive. Can we invoke him for spells now? Did, did he give you his name? Tamric. And probably not. He's just a really sweet guy. Oh. Oh. 
Uh, that kind of summoning. Saf, I, I never took you for the type. Yeah, me neither. I don't really know what I was doing. I just kind of saw his picture in a personal ad and I decided to give him a chance. Whoa, wait, he put out an ad to be summoned? Isn't that a little desperate? It's really not like that. No, no, I'm, I just, I'm just joshing. Goodness knows there's, there's times I've thought of putting out a personal myself. But dang, it takes a lot to actually go for it. Congrats. Jazzy now has knives in the chat. <laughs> oh my god. I'm happy for you. Really. Thanks. So, when can I meet this guy? Um, I'm not so sure. Look, time... Yeah? I actually first summoned him a while ago. Like, maybe a month ago? And we've been seeing each other since. Oh, wow. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't think I was... I didn't think it was going anywhere. I, I didn't think it was that important. But he's kind of been trying to lock it down, and... There's something exciting about that. Scary, but exciting. It feels good to be wanted that way, you know? Yeah, for sure. But... Why can't I meet him? Well, I was talking about you, and I mentioned I was going to yours to stay the night, and I don't know, he just got really jealous. I mean, I talked you up, I told him about us and our history, and how things have been up and down between us before, and also how close we've been lately. He didn't like that. Oh. I mean, that makes sense. I've been jealous before, I, I get it. But, like, does this mean we can't be friends anymore? No way. Look, to be honest, I wasn't a huge fan of his reaction. I'm just trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, you know? Okay. Okay, I, w I was getting nervous for a second. Uh, you're my best friend, Saf. I, I don't want to lose you. I know. I've never really said that to you. And I won't make you say it back. But, yeah, you're my best friend. Aw, do you want space? I mean, you know, honeymoon phase and all? No, no. I mean, no. I don't think I need or want space right now. I'm going to have a talk with him about this. Okay, cool. I gotta go, though. Tam and I are carving pumpkins later. Tam? Tamrick. Tam. That's what I call him. Oh. Cute. I'll see you later, okay? Yeah. See you later. Bye. Bye. Damn. Blech. <laughs> Jazzy says, I don't think the witch is getting married, chat. You don't know, Jazzy. You don't know what's happening. Tam. Seriously? You gotta chill out, lady. I can't get my beauty sleep with vibes like this. I'm chill. I'm cool with it. I just... I was excited for her to stay the night. It had been a while. Plus, I already bought sheep's blood in bulk. So, you sure you don't have feelings for her? I mean, asking her to stay the night has certain implications. Widget says, I just laughed out loud. <laughs> no way. You stay the night every night. Does that mean you have feelings for me? That's different. I'm your familiar. Well, what about Hyssop? I go to sleep at her grave all the time. Anyway, I feel like we're missing the point here. Okay, what's the point? The point is, this guy is jealous of me and he's making it my problem. Jazzy, what should nutmeg sound like? I will. I, I'm. I'm open to suggestions. We could do. Um, we could do a, a some kind of like. Uh, I don't know, like a Cockney maybe. <laughs> Q 
keep Danny DeVito? Are you sure? Because I'm, you know, I'm willing to change it up for you, Jazzy. <laughs> Winter Shins doesn't... It throws me off in the best way possible, <laughs> says Jazzy. Okay. All right. We'll keep going with it. Okay. But like, if she wants it to work out with this guy, then it's not unreasonable for her to try to be kind about his feelings. Plus you said she wasn't a fan of his reaction anyway, and she told you she wasn't leaving you. She said she wasn't even asking you for space. Okay, but I don't know. I'm just nervous, I'm gonna lose her. Maybe I should send her a note? Mmm. All right, I'm gonna hit you with some familiar wisdom. Time. Do you know what attachment styles are? I've heard of them. But like, is an attachment theory kind of pseudoscience? You're a witch. You were checking on astrology chart. You were checking an astrology chart 15 minutes ago. Okay, okay, fair enough. The stars definitely ruined my putanesca sauce last week, though. They do things to that cauldron. I still think you just forgot to clean it out first. But attachment styles. Even if the idea of them is a little sketchy, maybe, you can still learn stuff from it. I think Safflower has an avoidant attachment style, with you at least. Sorry, I had to cough. Have you noticed that she kind of pushes you away when you're affectionate? Where do you get pew? Pew? Is it poo? Is it? <laughs> is it? Did I say putanesca and not putanesca? <laughs> putanesca. Okay, man, I'm I'm getting a lot of grief tonight. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Words are hard. Bad, bad man. Okay, I got, I'll go back to acting school. Excuse me while I take a drink. Okay. Hmm. I guess so. Then there's the anxious attachment. Oh, then there's the anxious attachment style. Getting preoccupied with your relationships. That won't help, Wittershins. <sighs> Fearing abandonment often comes with jealousy. Right. And then there's the anxious avoidant trap. This idea that people with anxious styles and people with avoidant styles can often end up in painful relationships if there isn't some serious communication. When relationships are threatened, anxious types pull closer, while avoidant types pull away. So, you're saying their relationship is doomed anyway and I shouldn't worry about it? What? Well, because Tamarick is anxious. And Safflower is avoidant. So, well, actually, I was talking about you. I think you tend to be pretty anxious. Ah, but that's a good point. Sort of seems like maybe Tamarick is on the anxious side of things, too. But that doesn't necessarily mean things are going to go wrong for them. It just means they have a lot of communication to do. And it means you maybe need to back off right now and let her figure it out. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed. That sounds like an excellent idea. I'm gonna do the same. It's all gonna be okay, bro. Such a supportive bat. Hey, time? Safflower? What are you doing here? Trying a bit of late night breaking and entering, I see. You're looking beautiful. 
What are you doing here? Let's try this one. We need to talk. I think we need to do more than talk, wink, wink, at this hour of the night. Talk about what? We need to talk. Saf? This is going in circles. I don't understand. Come here, beautiful. Circles, says Jazzy. Okay. It's going in circles. She looks upset. What did you say? I can't understand you. Oh, poor time. Yo, already up? Yep. How'd you sleep? Didn't. Bad dreams. Oh, dang. Everything okay? Time? What are you looking for? Did you hear footsteps? What? That staff's familiar. Incredulous says, I love all the little poses and animations for this. Oh, oh, what's up, Acorn? What's good? <laughs> oh. Hmm. Well, how is Saf feeling about all that? Huh? What are you two talking about? Oh, well, I guess that's okay. Ugh, I don't speak Acorn. Please tell me what's happening. Uh, well, Acorn has a note for you. Maybe you should just read that. It will explain better than I can. Let me see. Dear Time, I hope you're well. I think I do actually need a bit of space for the time being. It's not a permanent solution, but it is still somewhat a point of contention between me and Tamarick right now. I do hope this is resolved in another way soon. I don't have a timeline for this, but I don't think it's going to be a huge ongoing thing. I just wanted to let you know. Safflower. Hi, Anna Time. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Dwisty, thank you for the lurk. What? But she said she didn't need space. What gives? Wait, Acorn did it. I... Whoa, take a breath there, time. I'm freaking out. What does she mean? I hope this is resolved in another way soon. Does that mean there's a possibility that it won't be? What if she tells her... what if he tells her she can't talk to me anymore? Deep breaths. That's not going to happen. Look. She just said she needs some space, that's all. But that's not what she said yesterday. People can change their minds. Why can't she give me a timeline? What if months go by and we don't talk? I know Safflower, she can take a long time to have a difficult conversation. What if in a few months she's so close with this guy that she doesn't feel like she needs me anymore? Time, slow down for just a moment need to trust her. She told you it's not a permanent solution. But what if it is? What if a lot of... What if a lot of things? Time. There are things you can't control. This is one of them. All you can do now, all you should do now, is give Safflower space. Mmm! <laughs> 
remember what I said last night. Back off right now and let her figure it out. This feels unfair. It's not unfair. It's a very fair and normal thing to ask someone for space. She's done with me. She's not done with you. She just needs space. She's got this new person in her life and she's trying to figure out where she stands with him and where she stands with you. She needs to feel her feelings for a little while. Okay. Okay, yeah. That makes sense. I think... I am... Um, I think I'm gonna be sick. Slow down, slow, deep breaths, okay? Come on, come on. Let's make some breakfast. I'll fry up some frog's fingers. I've got Hubbard's recipe and everything. That sounds terrible. They're your favorite. Not, not right now they're not. Okay, we won't do that. But promise me you'll eat something today, okay? You always skip meals when you get anxious. Push yourself. For the sake of your little old familiar, don't let all my fine cooking go to waste. It would be such a shame. I'll... I'll try. I'm gonna go outside for a bit. Walk around and clear my head. That sounds like a good idea. Get your blood pumping, bro. Just don't ruminate too much. Mm. Time, seriously. I promise it will be okay. Maybe you can do something to distract yourself. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, Nutmeg, you tried so hard. Bye. Oh dear, that does sound bad. So I'm not crazy? No way, man. I don't know, I'm kind of upset about this. Like, this dude has known Safflower all of what, one month? Know your place, dude. Okay, yeah, I thought so. Oh, I hate this. Why would she do this to me? Okay, hold on. Let's not get too mad at Safflower. She's not the jealous one here, her boyfriend is. Boyfriend, ugh. Well, whatever he is. I don't know, her guy, her boy toy, whatever. Her boy toy? Yeah, or whatever. I have such a pit in my stomach right now, oh man. I would too. It's not helpful. Okay, you're right, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to say your feelings are so valid right now. And for the record, I do think Safflower is being a pretty awful communicator. Right? Like, we've been friends for a while now. I thought she would feel comfortable talking to me about this stuff, instead of just telling me with a letter. It feels so... avoidant. I'm gonna tell her. I'm gonna tell her how I feel. I want to be with her. I want to marry her. Okay, hold on now. Don't do that. It is totally reasonable to need space. And definitely don't tell her you want to marry her. I just think she's playing with your feelings a little bit. I don't think it's intentional, though. I don't know. Do you really have feelings for her? Or are you just getting all worked up? To be honest, time. I think you could do way better. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're right. Regardless... You don't think I could just ask her if she'll talk to me again one more time? Just to explain things a bit better? I don't know. Think that's fair? Uh, hmm. I think so. Maybe. I think you have the kind of relationship where that would be okay? It's okay to need reassurance. That's not, you're not wrong for that. I would be careful though. She did ask you for space. Right, but maybe if she knew I was feeling this way, she would be okay just talking to me one more time. Yeah, yeah, I think that's fair. Okay, I'm gonna go home and send her a note. What, right now? 
You just got here, dude. What happened to helping me uh, helping decorate my place? Love that interpretation. Thank you, Widget. I appreciate it. I'm not going to be able to stop thinking about this until I talk to her. Besides, you're, you literally live in a graveyard. How many Halloween decorations do you even need? It's the best holiday. Maybe just take a sec to think this all through a little before you do anything drastic. Sure. I'll see you soon. You're back already? I just got the bag of candy corn out of the freezer. Yeah, I need to write a letter. To who? Time. A letter to who? Who do you think? Okay, bad idea. Time, she just told you she needed space. Exactly, this is the time to do it while things are still maybe normal and could be saved. If I don't hear from her for weeks and then I write her a letter, that would be much worse. Time, you're talking like this is already over. She just wants space. And I just want a better explanation. Is that so much to ask? I don't know, Time. This seems like maybe a bad idea. It's just one letter, that's it. Okay, how does this sound? Dear Safflower, I know you said you needed space, but I really need to talk to you. So I'm sorry I couldn't do that for you, but I just feel so awful right now and I have more to say to you. If you say no, I'll leave you alone. I just have been feeling really confused since I received your letter. I don't want to seem pushy. I'm just feeling very anxious. Love, time. It sounds like a letter that you shouldn't send. Okay, but if I did send it, how would it sound? I don't know. Fine, I guess? Maybe a little desperate? Okay, well, I am a little desperate. Please don't send it. You know what? Sleep on it tonight. Then if you really want to send it, you can send it in the morning. Respectfully? You are not the boss of me. No, you're right, I'm not. I'm just your familiar, a being of magical insight deeply tied to your existence by mutual pact. What do I know? I'm trying to help you, Time. I want you to be okay. But if you think this is really what you need to do, then sure, do it. I'm just not sure it will work out well. Well, I guess it will be on me then. Yes, it will. So... So what? Could you deliver it? Seriously? Well, you are my familiar. I don't want to be a part of this. But I suppose if it stops you from going over there yourself... Ugh. Why am I doing this? Safe travels! <laughs> Poor nutbag. <laughs> Why can't we all have a nutmeg in our lives? Hey. Saf, hi. You came. Yep. I'm sorry. Again, for being pushy. No, it's okay. Really. I get it, I do. I can't talk for long, though. That's fine, I, I don't really need long. So, what's up? Okay, first, I just want to say, I think space is fine. I offered you space. But I do think that if I'm giving you space for Tamric's sake and not yours, well, that makes me nervous. No, I agree. You do? Yeah, I was talking to some friends about this just yesterday. 
I was telling them how I really was not a fan of how Tamarick has been acting about this. I don't know. If I'm being honest, this whole thing has been kind of funny to me. Like, this is drama, right? Is this drama? Yeah, kinda. Huh. That's so weird. I don't think of myself as someone who attracts drama. Look, I'm gonna talk to Tamrick about all this soon. And say, like, I get that you feel really threatened and scared and whatnot. And also, like, one can work through jealousy or something. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there's something else, too. Like, I'm happy to give you space, but I know you sometimes avoid having difficult conversations. And I just, I'm scared that you're going to put this conversation off. And that, you know, one day it'll be too late. And you'll think to yourself, well, I put this much time with him already and I'm all, and I'm really going to insist that he let me hang out with, am I really going to insist that he let me hang out with time again? Or you'll just forget about me. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Like I said, I've really not been a fan of this whole thing. And I want you to know that, like, if he gave me an ultimatum, like you or him, that would not work out in his favor. Oh. Okay. Thank you for saying that. That's, that's very reassuring. I think I'm feeling better. Thanks for talking to me about this. Yeah. It's no big deal. I'll give you some space now. Thank you. I appreciate it a lot. Oh, and just one more thing. I know I said it the other day, but like, in case you missed it, I really do think you're my best friend. You don't have to say it back. Yeah, I get it. I do. I love you. I love you too. That face, though. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I'll see you later, then? Yeah. Great. Uh, bye. Bye time. We can't sleep again. Hey, time? Safflower, what are you doing here? Just wanted to come and say hi. Oh? You're all I've been able to think of. Well, hi, it's good to see you. In the middle of the night? I think she has been all we're able to think of. We're a little bit obsessed. Do we say that? We just say it's good to see you. Jazzy says, I'm listening to this like an audiobook while I draw. That's excellent, Jazzy. Um, I'm going to say hi. It's good to see you. Look, I think I'm going to end things with Tamarick. Just like that? Hmm? Just like what? You're ending things with Tamarick? What? Why would you say that? This is so messed up, Time. You need to chill out about this, seriously. What's wrong with you? What? But you just said, I'm starting to seriously question our friendship. Same. You're being extremely unfair. <laughs> Please, I don't understand. I think that makes sense. I don't think we can be friends anymore. Hubbard? Hubbard, are you there? I really need you right now. That you, Tom? 
I'm just at my post, sweet corn. Hubbard? Hello, my darling girl. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Always. You know I am always here for you. Pull up a pumpkin. Join me for a bit. Together we can be outstanding in our field. Ha. <laughs> Thanks, Widget. Ha. Been so anxious lately. Oh, my love, I am sorry. Would you tell me what's on your mind? I'm just so worried about Safflower. Safflower? Remind me who this one is. My memory is not what it once was, my darling. You know, the friend I've been telling you about lately. The one with the new... person in her life. The white? Ah, yes, of course. I do apologize. It is hard for me to keep track of your friend's name sometimes. This old squash of mine only has so much room for remembering. That's okay. I know you're trying. It's been a week and I haven't heard from her yet. I see. I'm sure that's been very hard on you. It has. I was feeling so reassured for a few days, but now I'm all twisted up again. I'm just so scared that I'll lose her. Oh, time. You care so deeply about your friends. You've always been that way ever since you were very little. You have a beautiful heart. You should be very proud of yourself for being such a caring girl. Thank you. Have you talked to your other friends about this? You have so many wonderful friends, love. Just not Meg and Hyssop. I don't know. They're the ones I trust the most with this kind of thing. They are good friends for listening to you. They really are. I need to tell them that more. Sometimes I worry that I'm relying on them too much. It is natural to rely on the ones we love. There is no shame in it. If you are gentle with them and thankful for them and a good friend to them, you have no reason to feel guilty. What am I going to do about Safflower, though? Perhaps a love potion? R really? Do you think that would work? Do you have a recipe? I am only joking, my love. Perhaps you can tell her how you feel. Speak to her directly. Well, she has asked me for space. I thought I told you that. Oh, yes, of course. I am sorry, my memory. This gourd can only hold so much inside. It's okay. It is natural to be sad about this, my love. Losing a friend can be hard, even if it's only for a short time. But you must remember all you have in your life. Trust your friend, but also trust yourself. Trust that you'll do the right thing. Trust that you will continue to be the smart, charming, beautiful, loving witch that you are. And remember that there are other places in life to find happiness. This young witch has not been in your life forever, and although you care deeply about her, you had a wonderful and joyous life before the two of you became friends. I know. I know that's true. But it's hard to remind myself of that right now. It's hard to really believe it. I know, my dear. All will be all right. Thank you. Are you feeling any better? No. Well, that's not your fault. I love you, Hubbard. I love you too, my darling girl. You've grown so much. I know you will get through this. Would you like to stay the night in my field? I have your favorite stew brewing. Extra crickets. Thanks, and I think I'm going to go home. I need to be alone. My darling, sometimes it is easier to be alone, but it does not make us feel better. It may help to be around others right now. I have not, Meg. Yes, of course. Make sure that you don't hide your feelings from him. 
The bond between witch and familia is a precious thing. Okay. You are always welcome to stay with me. I've seen you safely grow from seed to stalk, and just because you are an adult living on your own now does not mean that I will stop caring for you. You will always be my little witch, and I will always take care of you when you need me, until one of us is decomposing, or perhaps even longer. Thank you, Hubbard. I love you so much. Oh, shucks. I love you too, little one. What's up? Not much. You seem a little quiet. No comments on dinner or dessert or my second dessert. Just don't have much to say. Are you sure? You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah, I know. So there's nothing going on? Nope. Just writing out some incantations. Did you need something? No. Just worried about you is all. There's nothing to worry about. Okay, if you say so. You can come out, Acorn. What is she doing? Yep, got it right here. Assuming that's what you said. Dear Safflower, I just wanted to check in. Would it be possible for us to meet in person soon? I was thinking we could meet up in a couple days if you're around and would it be okay? Please let me know. Love time. Sound good to you? Was... Was that a yes? She sent another letter. Can you believe it? Done. Hey, time. Safflower? It's over. Uh, can we fix this? What do you mean? I'm so sorry. So, so sorry. Chronically Bouncing Bun Buns, hello. Thank you for being here. Can we fix this? It's over. Please. It's over! Terrible dream. She really should not have sent the letter, though. She knows it. <sighs> Oh, no. Good morning. Good morning. You seem in good spirits. Yeah, I think I am. Feeling pretty okay today. Any reason? No, I just have a good feeling about today, I think. I'm gonna go on a walk and collect some nightshade. I'm behind on concocting. Might even do some gardening with Hubbard later. Well, that's great. Yo, Acorn. See ya. What a good little guy. <laughs> but hey, that was a letter. Yeah? You... seem like you were expecting it. Time, did you write her again? Um, uh, kinda. Let's just see what it says. 
dear time, no, I still need space. I am sorry that you're going through it, but please work through it with someone else. I will reach out when I am comfortable. Please let me be for now. Safflower. Time. Uh, uh, no. No, this isn't... This... Time. Deep breaths. No, I'm... I think I'm gonna die. I'm so scared. She's never gonna talk to me again. This feels so unfair. I feel so stupid for not just backing off. What's wrong with me? I pushed her away. I don't understand. She will reach out again. She just needs time. How do you know that? Because she literally said she would reach out. And that she needs space. I'm panicking. Walk with me. Let's get you some mold cider. Bog water, even. No, no, I can't do this. Oh, no, I think I know what this is. What if this is because she still has feelings for me and she wants to just distance herself from me so she can move on? Oh, I feel so stupid! I'm not sure why exactly she's asking for space. That's definitely possible, but I can't pretend to know. But I don't know that it's so helpful to speculate either. Uh, I know, I know it's not, but I can't help it. Breathe, dude. When I get like this, oh, <laughs> when I get like this, I try to ask myself, what need am I trying to meet by asking these questions? Okay, okay, yes, that's a good question. I, I can't take this. She said she'll reach out when she's comfortable. What if she's just like never comfortable? What then? This isn't helpful. Oh, <clears throat> this isn't helpful time. This isn't serving you. I know, I'm sorry, I'm freaking out. Don't apologize, self-soothe. Maybe do some chants. Curse a frog, maybe. Try to meditate. Oh, man. Okay. Okay, I'll try. Oh, man. Oh, man. Do you maybe want to try talking to Hyssop? What? Am I being too much for you? You can't deal with me right now? No, that's not it at all. You can stay and talk. I just thought maybe she'd have a different perspective. And I know she's good at comforting you. Sure. Just go hang out with her. I can tell you want to be left alone. See you later. Poor nutmeg. Is up? You're back again. Oh man, you hate me. Whoa, I don't hate you. I'm just worried is all. You know I've been visiting a lot. I haven't been checking in on you. It's just been me, me, me. Doing his best, says Pumpkin Gord. Gorbin. <laughs> He's doing his best, and it's not good enough. Well, you're going through it right now. I'm doing fine. I feel like death. As someone who is dead, I gotta say you look like death. I think I've left anxiety and entered full-on depression now. I'm definitely feeling a little better. But it's so hard to distract myself right now. That's very real. I keep going back and forth on whether I think I had feelings for her. I, I think maybe not. I think maybe I was just feeling very strongly because I thought I was gonna lose her. I do think I'm starting to trust the feeling that she will reach out to me again, but I'm going back and forth on even that. It'll be okay. But I'm sorry, this is hard, even if it is temporary. I mean, you think I should be mad? Like, is it even worth being someone's friend if they just say you can't talk to them when you did nothing? Jazzy says, my brain used to sound exactly like times when I was younger. It is crazy. I hate myself that I'm mad at her. I, I hate myself that I'm mad at her about this because I love her so much. I understand needing space, but at what point does space become abandonment? How do you make that distinction? Like I said, she's not being the best communicator right now. I think there's probably a better way for her to go about this. I feel like I trusted her with my heart and she just dropped it in the compost. 
My brain still does, but we're working on it, says Widget. Oh. Wish I could say all this to her. Well, you definitely shouldn't. But at some point I need to reach out again. Like, if months go by and I don't hear from her, am I just not supposed to say anything? Great friendship, super solid, fun while it lasted, see you later! Ugh, I'm sorry, that was me. You're good, I thought it was funny. It's just extra confusing because of our last conversation, conversation before she asked me to leave her be. She told me this wasn't going to happen. Hmm, time, do you ever journal? What? Uh, no. I think you should try. I mean, I have in the past, but it usually just makes me feel crazy and lonely. Well, you need to get it out some way. Are you mad at me for just talking to you about it all the time? Once again, no. That's not what I meant. Just, I've been there. I'm happy to listen to you. Except, I love you so much. I know how much I'm being these days, and I, and I know I'm leaning on you a lot for support, and you're being so good to me. I'm so happy to have you as a friend. You aren't being too much. You are just enough time. Thank you. I appreciate you. Jazzy says, honestly, the best thing I've learned is to try to stop the physical feeling that comes along with it. If you're able to stop the shaking or the unsettling feeling, it helps make your mind go clearer. Yeah, breathing helps, doesn't it? What's up? I'm trying to journal. Hyssop suggested it. Oh, nice. That's a good idea. No, it's not. It's not helping at all. Mm. Just keep thinking of all the things I wish I could say to Saf that I can't anymore. Well, it seems like maybe journaling is getting you too worked up. Maybe you need to try and distract yourself. Please, Time. You're putting so much energy into this. It's been weeks. Weeks and I haven't heard a thing. It's going exactly the way I thought it would. Exactly what I predicted from the very start. I knew this would happen. Saf can't express her emotions to save her life. If she really loved me and cared about me, she would have reached out by now. She would have talked to Tamarick and told him that we were friends first and we get priority. You're not being fair. She's not, she's not being fair. How is any of this fair? She was my best friend and she betrayed me. You're wrong. She asked for space. That's not a betrayal. Look, I need to be real with you, Time. Safflower is making a conscious effort to try and meet this guy where he's at and navigate the situation, which right now means getting space from you. Yes, that means your friendship is on pause. It might even mean something more severe than that. I hope it doesn't come down to that, man, but it might. Unfortunately, though, this is not a unique scenario. I've been around for hundreds of years and I've seen many relationships fracture over stuff like this. It's certainly possible this friendship ends, and I think that this is something you need to swallow and accept. Relationships are hard, and they don't last forever. It's something we have to grieve sometimes. It's a sucky part of life, but it's a thing that you're just going to have to accept. Not disagreeing with any of that. I'm just mad that she hasn't communicated with me. But she has communicated with you. She was pretty clear that she wanted space which unfortunately means that you can't communicate right now. You need to accept that there's like nothing you can do right now other than live your life. It doesn't help. I'm not going to do anything. Then I guess I don't really know what we're talking about anymore. Me neither. You just decided it was time to bite my head off for no reason. I'm in pain, and rather than try to comfort me, you just keep telling me that I'm wrong. You're supposed to be my familiar. You're supposed to want what's best for me, not Saf. Why can't you just support me? I... I'm sorry. I can't do this right now. If you're not going to be there for me, just go away, nutmeg. Fine. I'm going.
time? We need to talk. Yes, we do. Please, I need you in my life. How could you do this to me? You were my best friend. Tamrek is cheating on you with a luscious swamp thing. <laughs> um, this is this one seems to be how time is feeling, at least for the last scene. Let's go with it. I need space from you right now. I know that's what you need, but what about what I need? I'm going to put such a nasty curse on you, you'll never find love again? Nutmeg, sa Nutmeg said you're avoided. I guess that means you'd rather never talk to me again than tell me your feelings. Um, let's do the first one. I know that's what you need, but what about what I need? Since we're here talking. No, you need to let me go. You don't deserve my friendship anyway. If you're going to treat me like this, true friends don't do this. You can't give me a timeline, even a vague one. Please marry me. Let us wed under a sun shower. Be with me forever and ever. Can't give me a timeline. No. You need to let me go. Please come back. Don't leave me. Please stay. Please. These are all the same, essentially. Goodbye, time. Hey. Oh. Not Meg. Who else would it be? We're the only people who live here. What are you up to? Writing a letter. Time. Don't you say anything. I'm doing it. If it's a mistake, it's a mistake I'm making myself. If this is something you think you need to do, then do it. I'm not going to intervene here. Don't sound so judgmental. I'm not. Uh, time. I will support you with whatever you do. I can have my opinions and tell you how I feel until the frogs come home, but ultimately I'm going to support you. I'm your familiar. You write a letter. I'll deliver it. Do what you need to do. Dear Safflower, Congratulations, you have betrayed a good friend. I am sorry to write you like this. I know you asked for space, and in writing this letter, I am going against your wishes. I was reading our old letters, and I realized that I want to be with you. I think we're going to go with the middle one. I feel like what you're doing now is trying to distance yourself from me and ultimately remove me from your life really loved me, I believed that you would make an effort to get me back into your life. Told me you loved me, told me you wouldn't ditch me for a new person, and then did exactly that. Let's do the, the top one. I can't pretend that I'm okay just to make you comfortable. I know hearing from me is, is making you uncomfortable right now. You have earned our lowest ranking status of worst person ever. <laughs> to the middle one. Now go enjoy seven years of misery with a partner who needs more from you than you'll ever be able to give him. Would it be possible for us to have just one uncomfortable conversation so I know what you're thinking? I'm not okay, and the only way for me to get over this is for you to either tell me we can't be friends or take me back. Love time. Yours time. Good riddance time. Eh, we'll do the love time.
done. You wrote it? Yes. And you really want me to deliver it? Yes. Okay, if you think that's the right thing to do. I do. Then I'll do it. Send the letter? Yes. Rewrite? Or no? We should definitely not send this letter. If there's anybody that has a, a different opinion in the chat, you can let me know. But I think I'm gonna go with no on this. I don't see any reason to rewrite it. If we have the choice. I'm gonna go ahead and go. Don't send it, says Wittershins. Okay. Yeah, we're not going to send it. On second thought, maybe I'll just hang on to this for now. Oh, really? Yeah, maybe, maybe I don't need to send this. I want to, I really do, but I don't think it will do any good right now. I don't think it will either, but listen time. I don't want you to do this just because you think I'll judge you for it. Should have sent it, says Widget. Widget! <laughs> oh no. What, what's going to happen? I do think you're capable of making your own decisions. I want you to know that. <clears throat> and if sending the letter is what you need, then it's what you need. No, I really think that it's not something I need. But I do appreciate you saying that. And also, I'm sorry about last night. You were right to be mad. I stand by everything I said, but I wasn't really being patient or kind with you. It wasn't what you needed to hear. Thank you, Nutmeg. But actually, I think it was. I don't want to lose Saf. But I can't control when she comes back, or if she comes back. Oh man, I miss her so much, Nutmeg. I don't want to lose her. I know, I know. Come here. It's gonna be okay. I'm so sorry, Time. You don't deserve all this. It's going to be okay, I promise. I know, but this sucks so bad. It does, and you're so strong for getting through it. I love you, you know that, right? I love you too. I'm gonna go talk to Hubbard. I need to see him and give him a hug. That sounds like a good idea. I'll be right here when you get back. Hubbard? Tom, my love. How are you feeling today? How is your broken heart, love? Still broken. Of course it is. Tell me. Do you remember the remedy for a broken heart, darling? There is only one. Was it weasel pheromones plus chewing gum? Oh, no, nothing that complicated. The remedy is time, time. Ah, that old thing. It's a shame none of my spells can speed up time. A powerful and unforgiven force, time. It moves quickly when we want it to slow down and inches along when our hearts cannot bear it. It's the worst. What do we do with all of it? Why, we live, of course. But living is so painful right now. My friend is gone. I don't know if we'll ever be friends again. I just want to see her again. My darling, I know you're in pain. You have a beautiful heart. But there is so much more to life. Sit with me. Take in the fresh air. Eat a decorative gourd. 
<laughs> eat a decorative cord. <laughs> oh. There, there, little sprout. I'm sorry. I can't even enjoy this nice moment with you. I know how hard you're trying. Sweetheart, I know you are trying hard, too. You are brave for trying to find happiness with me right now, even if you are not succeeding. It will come in time. And until then, I'll be right here for you, my love. Thank you. You don't know how much you mean to me. Oh, I think I have some idea. You mean even more to me, my sweet girl. You will always be my passionate, sensitive, beautiful little witch. And I am so proud of you. So then I say to the goblin, Is it the dentist much? Oh man, that's just awful. <laughs> you should have seen the look on his face. This is absolutely a made-up story. Nope, really happened, I can vouch. <laughs> you should have seen it. I always forget how annoying you are. Hey, you're a guest in our house. Call me annoying again and watch what happens. I'll turn you into a worm, but don't worry, I still love you. <laughs> Ugh. Really, though, thanks for coming, Hyssop. I know you don't love leaving the graveyard and, like, your bones, so it was cool of you to make the effort. What gave you that idea? I love coming over. Really? Yeah, I love seeing you. Invite me over anytime. How have you been hanging in there, by the way? I've been better. I'm not great. I'm still... Mm, bad. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, actually. I mean, it's not okay, okay. But I'm starting to feel like I can get through this. This isn't the end of the world. It's not. You're gonna be okay, even if you're not okay right now. And we're here for you the whole way through. You deserve friends who want to spend time with you. I know, I know. It's hard to see that right now when I keep thinking of her. But I know. Oh. A sun shower. A witch is getting married. Do you think that maybe... Safflower and tamarack? You know what? I have no idea. But that's okay. Hey, Hyssop. You want to see some of the incantations I've been working on? Ooh, absolutely. Just don't blow up anything like you did last time. I only have so many lives. No promises. Now help me bring this all in before we're soaked. You're lucky you can't get wet, Hyssop. Fur this gorgeous takes forever to dry. Oh, relax. It'll pass. It's possible that my best friend got married that day. She got married, and I wasn't at her wedding. It's possible she's happy with Tamarack. It's possible they're miserable together. It's possible she found the love of her life. Maybe they're living together in a little cottage that looks like mine. Maybe she's teaching him how to brew my potions. Maybe. Or maybe she married someone else. Or maybe another witch got married. Or maybe no one at all. Sometimes sun showers just happen. Written by Eli Hirsch. Art and code by Benjamin Feinstein. Woo! Beautiful game.
Good job, team. Well done, guys. Music by Soft Mirror Move, Benjamin Feinstein, and Ellis Piper, who I believe is singing. Autumn Leaves, lyrics performance by Ellis Piper. Thanks, Widget. Thank you guys for being here. So we're going to have a, a, a talk with, uh, um, with Ben and, uh, uh, and Eli. Um, we will, uh, I think we're going to do, our pre-roll is off, so we're going to do a quick commercial break. Wow, an original track for the ending. Amazing. So sorry to anybody that's behind the commercial wall, but um, uh, we're just going to take a quick three-minute break, and when we come back, we'll uh, we'll have a quick Q&A with the devs, and we can ask them questions, and uh, it'll be great. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I'll see you in three. Welcome back, everybody. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi. Thank you so much for the playthrough. You're, you're yeah, that was, that was so much fun. fun. Thank you, guys. <laughs> that was so fun. Let me, uh, I'm just going to get us off the Be Right Back screen here. Absolutely. Sounds good. Uh, so, everybody, thank you guys for sticking around. I know it's late. Um, how, how we do around here but um everybody this is ben ben feinstein or is it is it feinstein feinstein, feinstein. i knew i was gonna get it wrong um <laughs> uh benjamin feinstein uh art sound coding and music um and ben also soloed a game was it solo last year uh, trashwing crow child yeah. yeah so ben soloed a game that we played last year 
So very excited to play this uh, with Ben behind it. And then Eli did writing and, uh, and was the primary director. The person you hear singing is Ellis Piper. Um, and Ben, Ben, you did some of the, did you do the, like, you did some of the music as well? Yeah, I, I was strumming on, I think, two of those tracks and a lot of the dream music I did the mixing for, uh, which was fun. Amazing. Fantastic. Um, I'm just going to check our levels really quick and make sure that everybody can hear us okay. Yeah. Um, you see my process here. Uh, so, Ben, how was your day? Uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good? Okay. I, I went to a uh, local pumpkin vendor and saw many actual real-life Hubbards for sale, so that was fun. Fantastic. Okay, and uh, Eli, how about you? How was your day? Well, I'm I'm in the Azores right now. I just woke up. Oh, jeez, uh, it's, it's <laughs> three days just starting. Uh, yeah, my day is just starting, but but my yesterday was was pretty good. Um, and what a wonderful start to today for you. Yes, no, uh, this has been so much fun. Oh, uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Um, so if anybody is still awake <laughs> in chat, Jazzy's in New Zealand, so Jazzy's awake. Incredibly oh, beautiful, perfect. says Jazzy. And, Thank you so much. Um, so I just have some questions for you guys. And uh, if there's anything that you want to talk about, just let me know. Um, but um, so obviously Ben did, did this jam last year on his own. How did you guys come together for this year? Well, we actually know each other from middle school, basically. or a little Middle bit school? Earlier. Like elementary. Yeah. We, met, we met in fourth grade. Oh, yes, my God. Right. So yeah. we've, we've been friends for a bit, and uh, so I, I, we've actually done uh, one or the other of us for Spooktober's Tolda now, where the, the first one that either of us did uh, was us collaborating on Moth Dude then, uh, by name, which was an incredibly precious game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ryan says he's still hanging on. Thank you, Ryan, for hanging on. Uh, Anatime says the game was quite interesting. Uh, and Spike wants to know, where's the soundtrack for this game? Um, um, I could release a zip file of it to the itch page. Otherwise, I don't think I hid any of the files in the downloads. You could just dig around. <laughs> <laughs> so Spike, uh, if you download the game, you'll get the, you'll get the soundtrack. <laughs> if that's not true, I'll, I'll zip up all the audio files sometime soon. <laughs> Great question. Cool. Um, uh, but, uh, but yeah, basically right at the beginning of the pandemic, I had done one itch uh, tabletop game jam before and then saw Spooktober advertise and both Eli and I had wanted to collaborate on something for a while. And, uh, and we, we, we often do collaborate on little things. I think that was like our first like big, I don't know, our first like release the first, to the like, public. Public thing. facing one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. That's that's so cool that you guys have known each other for so long. Does that, um, like, does that help with the collaboration process? That familiarity, or does that or does familiarity breed contempt? <laughs> no, I'd say, it, I'd say it helps. It helps. Yeah, okay, that's good. <laughs> ben is the nicest person like in the world, and the easiest person to work with, and. Um, I do a lot of stuff that would probably piss most people off, but Ben is very tolerant <laughs> of me. Uh, we're, we're used to each other's that, antics by now. Yeah, yeah. Um, it just makes it, it, it was very easy to work with him. Yeah. Wow. Cool. That is, that's that's great. But you guys <laughs> knocked it out of the park with this. At, at, um, I, Crow Child made me cry last. Like I, oh. I, I was a mess after I played it. Um, and while I, I did not cry so over this, that. like... It's so beautiful and it's so human. Um, can you guys? Well, uh, Eli is the writer. Maybe this is uh, maybe this is more a question for you. Yeah. But um, what inspired a witch is getting married? Uh, yeah. Um, so this this story happened to me basically beat for beat like two months ago. Oh no! <laughs> uh, okay. With me, um, with me as time, um, and. Uh, yeah, it was very painful. It was very um, upsetting. I had a lot of friends helping me through it, and um, I was I was in the Adirondacks, like grieving and being sad and and feeling bad for myself. And I was on a hike with my family, and um, 
my cousin's girlfriend, uh, like a sun shower started and my cousin's girlfriend said, oh, which is getting married. And I was like, huh? And she was like, yeah, that, that's like a, you know, a fable. Every time there's a sun shower, which is getting married. And then I thought about that and I thought about like, the idea of this story that I was going through in the context of like a witch like desperately trying to control the situation with like spells and potions and and just not you know something that was just completely out of her control um yeah and then I pitched that to Ben phenomenal I'm I'm so sorry that you had to go through that um it's okay (laughs) but but I'm I'm glad that we got this. Gets to sound bad. I'm glad that we got we got to play this game because of it. I'm glad that you delivered delivered on this because I think Wittershins I think said in chat that if like if you've lived very long, you've experienced like most people who have really like relationships are hard, and a lot of people have experienced this and and um, I don't know just being on Twitch uh, like people come and go and. Uh, and it's, you know, you wonder where they go sometimes. Sometimes, you know, you leave on good terms. Sometimes you like, just relationships are hard. And that was a big, um, a big theme of this game. And it's, it's really relatable, really, really like also cathartic, like good ending. So, I mean, I imagine there's other endings, but uh, that this, what we got was a good ending here tonight. Um, yeah, we we did include one other <laughs> ending, but we made a point of having a very easy uh, way back to the branching point of like, uh, do you want to rethink this one a little bit? Yeah, it's good. It's good to I be think, generous that way. <laughs> too spoilery for people who want to play the game, but it was it was important to me. Like, uh, we might get to this later. Uh, whatever. Um, it's okay. Like, it's okay. There, there, there are <laughs> there are two endings, and. It doesn't matter what you put in the letter. If you send it, you get one ending, and if you don't send it, you get the other ending. So ah, it's, okay. It's out, of, it's out of your control. It does not matter what you know what you say. Yeah. <laughs> you, put together, you put together the most like, beautifully written, like like poetic and gentle and kind letter, and you just shouldn't send it. Amazing. Um, so in terms of. Uh your your creative process uh how uh, how does that work between you guys uh, having known each other for so long um we know, we know that ben can kind of do it all so <laughs> is it uh um how how do you guys uh, like how do you guys work how do you how do you bounce ideas off each other how do you um how does this uh how, how does your team work well i'm I'm willing to do a lot of stuff, but I personally am a, a big fan of Eli's dialogue writing and, and just his very human characters. Um, when we made our first game together, Moth Dude, uh, we you know sat on the back deck and we we're just throwing ideas back and forth and eventually split up into like, okay, I'll do art for a week, you do writing for a week, and let's touch base. Um, for witches, uh, it was pretty much us in the car ride back down from the Adirondacks where I picked up Eli shortly after that sun shower uh, where he was like, hey, I have, I have a bit more time this year. Would you want to collaborate again? And I was like, excellent. This means I don't have to write a script uh, and, and I can, you know, make make a great thing with you again, which is something I really enjoyed. Um, from so my there's... perspective, it was... <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> From my perspective, it was more like, I was like, Ben, I'm really going through it. Can we please do this story? And he was like, <laughs> well, I'm kind of working on, kind of working on something already, but okay. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> um, Ben's out in his graveyard. Yeah. He's, you know, he's like, you're lucky I'm already dead. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, Jazzy. Yeah, no. It was pretty straightforward from there of, you know, touching base here and there and being like, oh, I think this would benefit from this. And vice versa and um yeah it, it, it worked nicely very nice uh jazzy says uh uh this is incredible but she wants more um <laughs> kaza corp hello kaza hi kaza we we just did a game and we're we're uh we're talking to the developers of the game welcome sir nice to see you here um sorry i got a little off track 
Uh, yeah. Challenges you guys faced. Anything that was super challenging about about this project for you? Mm. Well, I definitely hadn't uh, messed around with camera motion before. <laughs> So that was a whole uh, fun set of programming errors that I needed to figure out. Was this done uh, in RenPy? No, uh, I was using Tyranno Builder, which oh, okay. I used for all of my Spooktober ones, which works well. It's very approachable, um, but it's a little less flexible than RenPy uh, here and there. So it was fun kind of pushing it into shape. <laughs> very cool. Um, I think my, my biggest challenge was um, writing a script that didn't feel like repetitive like, and also felt like, like I, I wrote the script and I was like, this is just kind of what happened to me. And it's not really like witchy at all. It's just sort of like this story about anxiety and a break and like a friend breakup. And I feel like I'm, the witch part feels kind of forced. So I feel like the struggle was like making it feel like cohesive, I guess. Mm -hmm. That it does, that does seem like a big challenge, like because you kind of have you kind of have time going through this. I mean, stages of grief, essentially, right? And those stages, some of them can look very similar. Where she's like, you know, I don't want to lose her, so I'm going to write this letter. But she said she needed space. But now I'm angry, so I'm going to write this other letter. <laughs> but she said yeah, she needed yeah. space. I, I, I see yeah, that how that could have been a trap, but I've, you navigated yeah. it very well, very very well. Thank you very much. Um, so is there a uh, an element of the game design or some part like what's the part that you're most proud of? Um, I I do quite like how the background art on this one came out. I was doing a little bit more experimental stuff with it than I had in previous jams. I was going to ask you about the visuals, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I really, uh, when we were talking about initial ideas, like Over the Garden Wall came up as an inspiration, as well as other, you know, classic Halloween season uh, animated things, and I really wanted to get some kind of tactile, you know, physical graininess to the background. Uh, and I ended up figuring that the easiest way to do that would be literally to make little tiny oil pastel drawings and then scan them in as high of a res as I could and then uh, draw on top of them digitally to get the finished scenes, uh, which was also great in terms of just getting these very flexible high res backgrounds that we could then pan around on and do all sorts of fun camera movements. Uh, so I'm very glad that that worked <laughs> yeah it definitely it definitely it definitely looks amazing so for anybody who didn't see uh trash wing crow child it was kind of a like a torn paper collage um and uh so i was kind of expecting like the same <laughs> like sort of the same <laughs> thing uh and when i when i booted up the game i was like oh this is a completely like this is completely different this is a completely different um look but it it also yeah. it also still feels like feels like your style so um i appreciate that very much yeah definitely with with crow child i kind of leaned into that uh paper craft feel because you know he is a bit of a co collage himself and yeah. uh that thematically felt good and also meant i could get some very expressive body poses pretty quickly um but we've we've explored a, a few styles throughout the other jams as well um and and this is just where where this one ended up the physical nature of it was kind of an extension of Crow Child in some ways, because I was like, oh, that worked well. I want to do something similar. Uh, but also, you know, it, its own thing. Character designs are so good, too. Um, Nutmeg. Can we talk about Nutmeg? <laughs> like, it's just amazing. I was like, Wittershins and I were both agreed. We're like, we want a plush. Can we get like a plush of Nutmeg? Um, oh, that's uh, adorable. Just yeah, can a, I uh, start the answer for this? Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> Nutmeg, uh, I think we, I think, was, I can't remember if this was, if we were if still in the car together, or I think it was like the day that we were first pitching ideas. And I was like, I think Nutmeg should look like this. And I drew like an upside down semicircle with like little angry eyes and bat wings. And Ben was like, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> and he turned it into <laughs> It's, uh, yeah. he's so compelling. Even, I mean, 
I don't know why I gave. I don't know why I had to talk like the voice that I gave him. I mean, it just felt like right. Um, it, but it could have worked with it's anything. So natural to you, because uh, one <laughs> yeah, one other friend of ours also like read through some scenes, and also without prompting, ended up on almost the exact same voice. Oh, you're which, kidding! I don't know oh. what we had pictured. It was like a Brooklyn voice, and, and like I, I think neither of us really like thought of that is not Meg's voice, but we were both like, oh no, that's perfect. Yeah, that's this is what exactly it is what it is. <laughs> Well, just that he also f he throws in the like bro and man sometimes. Um, <laughs> Yeah. What a little creature. Uh, yeah. And same with... Uh, um, oh, I'm sorry. I blanked on the character's name, but the uh, the Scarecrow. Yes, Hubbard. Yeah, Hubbard. Hubbard. Just like I saw the little top hat and was like, oh, that is a Southern gentleman. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, the, the characters really, really pop. Um, so Nutmeg sounds like kind of came from both of you where did um what what about your other characters how did how did they emerge well a lot of a lot of them were me kind of coming up with a character design based on whatever plant we decided was the name for them because they all have oh yeah 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 we've got time and safflower oh yeah. okay okay so with time we were like oh you know woolly time is a variety we can get some like you know braids that kind of resemble rows of time and give her a woolly sweater and that fits with kind of her you know more more cozied up personality and safflower's braids kind of resemble uh safflower blooms as well and that was just oh that's so great there. hubbard's head is a hubbard squash right so, right yeah. <laughs> not, not make an acorn or a bit more of a stretch but yeah <laughs> oh that's phenomenal um so uh uh kind of an adjacent question uh, the expressions so effective mm -hmm. um can you talk like for for people who do visual novels choosing expressions is a big big deal um so can you talk about how you create and choose those expressions for each scene like were you, how many express it seemed like it seemed like especially time's range of expression seemed endless um uh, were you using a lot of body poses as well then she has a ton <laughs> um, so yeah the, it, I, ju I just got so much from her posture and from from the look on her face and uh, the look on the other characters faces too so um what is your process for for doing that well, I just went into the game file. Apparently, I ended up making 82 for her. Oh, my God. Uh, my God. <laughs> but mo most of them are the same physical face, just, you know, put on a different body pose. So that's something. Um, but yeah, I, I started off with a list, I think, of maybe six facial expressions that, you know, felt would cover a wide range of whatever popped up in the script. Uh, and, and when I started initially making the art, I you know, made made all of the characters have at least those six facial expressions. And when I was deciding on body poses, I gave everybody one or two and, you know, gave the faces on both of those uh, poses. And then once the script happened, uh, Eli would occasionally be like, oh, we, sh we should have a specific pose for this thing or this thing. Um, and then once we had the game beginning to be in place, uh, the two of us literally sat down at my kitchen table and and went through the uh the game and we're like okay let's let's make this face be this here that feels more natural um uh, oh wow that, that more was where the, the disagreements between us came that up that was when the most arguing happened there were two faces <laughs> there was like there was, there was one face that ben wanted to use a lot and i didn't really want to use it very much and there's one face that i wanted to use a lot and ben didn't really want to use very much and it was just like disagree <laughs> yeah. like yeah please, please put this one for this line it's, it's like, like uh, two actors like, choosing which emotion for the scene <laughs> that that was the moment when you know uh the, the role as a director of a game really felt like a <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I think that ben, ben and i have talked about this but like i when i was in school i i did a lot of playwriting and that's oh nice kind of how i think about writing visual novels is like writing plays and i think it's a yeah, great I, parallel I, yeah, um, and I think that's kind of similar. Like when we talk about directing, it's like, you know, what, how do the how does this line pre, how is this line presented? How is this line read? You know, totally. 
Uh, Jazzy has a, a question. Um, uh, definitely got over the garden wall vibes. Was there an intentional uh, an intentional influence of original strawberry shortcake art, especially with safflower? You know, it, it kind of was in the mind. I was thinking about a lot of those like you know eighties nineties uh, greeting card aesthetic, like more vintage feeling uh, shape language. And uh, I had sketched out a few different versions of Safflower. I think she may have gone through the most changes compared to the other characters. Uh, and eventually, you know, things averaged out. And it's like, oh, this this feels classic. This feels kind of strawberry shortcake-esque. Uh, kind of like a just spunky, you know, character. Which is an interesting line to toe for her in particular. Of like, you, you want her to be likable, but you also want to be able to get angry at her a little bit um so yeah no that was that was definitely in the head as well not well good call jazzy <laughs> great question jazzy thank you um wow we covered we covered a, <laughs> we've covered a, a lot of these questions that i had we kind of covered them so that's that's great um uh so can you can you guys talk about like um, choices in like uh, obviously choices are, are a big part of visual novels. Um, can you talk about ensuring that the choices have a meaningful impact on the story? Do you guys have a a, a, a sort of uh, ethos that you follow? Well, for uh, for witches, ironically, we kind of went in wanting the choices to not feel meaningless to definitely give you that hesitation like oh what what is the right choice but also to have them not not make as much of a difference in the end it's not like the um, atome game where you die yeah. <laughs> if you yeah. I'll, yeah I'll let eli speak to that i think when i was going through this situation myself i kept like thinking to myself like am i doing the right thing like should i have sent this text you know should i have done this thing should i have said this and, you know, I think I, I could speculate all day on, on what thing does what, but ultimately, like, I think my friend knew, like, what what was going to happen. And, or, or, you know, I, I don't know that those decisions would have really mattered. You know, it, 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 it's, it comes down to, like, you know, you don't necessarily have control over the situation, no matter what you do. And that's something, you know... I think it's about, I don't know, a lot about acceptance and like, I think that okay comes, with... I think that comes through because yeah. I definitely like the, like, should I send the letter? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. like obviously yeah. the character, the characters that you know, made all these de declarations and uh, expressive feelings, but in the end, what's the right thing to do? And I think, I mean, it was pretty clear to me like if yeah. i'd sent the letter that would have been a mistake and and it was it was pretty clear you know from the the dialogue of the other characters being like this is a bad idea you should not do this <laughs> um we, but that's a hard lesson for people to for sure. like yeah. when you're in that moment it's it really it's hard right you're all, all your emotions everything is telling you to that you need to that you need to do something that you need to try and control the situation um so I think you, like, like it may be a pared down kind of selection, a pared down number of choices, but the choices really felt like they were important. So well done there. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Um, what do you guys hope that uh, players take away from this game when they finish? Mm, I'll I'll throw that one Eli's way again. I, I wrote this out. <laughs> um, this is, I'll, I'll just read what I wrote. <laughs> uh, you can't always control what happens in a relationship, even as your best self. Um, uncertainty sucks, and being okay with it is really difficult, but it is possible to at least be sort of okay with it. Acceptance is hard, but it is possible to at least sort of do it. Kindness and patience and love are everything. Breathe. Wonderful. Yeah, I, I fully agree. 
you know, pe people are complicated and people knowing people is even more complicated. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, Novum Chase is in the chat. Regret that I didn't catch much of the stream, but wanted to express my admiration. Can always tell passion projects by the way the devs talk about them. Very cool to see. Welcome, Chase. Thank you for, for popping in. Um, one last question for you guys. Uh, what's next? Um, oh, no, two questions. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, I've got, I've got two more. I've got two more. Um, if you could go back uh, and give your past selves one piece of advice... Uh, when you started, uh, um, which is getting married, uh, what would it be? Knowing that uh, the camera movement would mess with the browser export would have been good to <laughs> start coding certain things certain ways. Um, maybe just getting getting to start sooner would would have been a good thing. There was some initial lag time of like. You know, this this was a complicated story, and we wanted to treat it in a respectful way to all the characters involved. And you know, we, I think it was good that we spent the time we did on it. Um, but there are definitely one or two weeks where it's like, hmm, I probably should have been drawing more faces this week. <laughs> <laughs> my advice, my advice to myself would have been put, put in more witchy stuff. Um, more witchy stuff. More, yeah, more potions, more casting spells. Like I, I think my like my initial idea was like he's doing all of these different witchy things to try to control the situation, and then it kind of ended up being mostly letters. Um, but I, I liked the idea of like I don't know, like that you know casting spells to have control over the situation. You know, we, we love did have one love idea potions. tossed around early on of like using the crystal ball to find other roots of like searching possible right, yeah. threads in the future of what what is the right thing to say and oh i shouldn't do that let me that let me too, rewind yeah. um and i'm glad we went down the path we did i think but yeah it was I think it worked out this alternates yeah that's also, great the other, the other thing i would have said is is have nutmeg and take away the number of times that nutmeg says she just needs space because you could probably take a shot every time he says she just needs space. <laughs> it is it uh, nutmeg does underscore the message uh, <laughs> oh she just needs space that's all she said <laughs> that's all she's saying is she needs space sometimes you need to hear it a few times yeah <laughs> yeah i guess so like 15 or you know <laughs> Um, okay, one last question. Uh, uh, what are you guys doing next? Do you have anything, any irons in the fire, or or are you guys taking it easy now? I mean, the main the main project each year for me is Spooktober. Um, oh, really? <laughs> I I do uh, backgrounds on a few other visual novels as they pass by, uh, and occasionally I will publish a tabletop thing uh, to my itch account as well. But yes, Spooktober's always the big one. We, okay. We the two of us have been meaning to make another there, visual novel there, separate from we, that. But there's a visual novel that we've had in the works for like years that we want to make, <laughs> but we we don't really know how to go about doing it. But it, it's gonna be so good when we do it because the <laughs> idea is amazing. Um, so when that ha like look out for that because that's gonna be like our our best one. We just need to figure out how to actually do it. Yeah. The 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 ultimate visual novel, it's, the great the, the great awesome. American visual novel. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys, thank you so much for sharing this lovely lovely game, um, and uh, for talking with us, uh, Benjamin Benjamin Feinstein, everybody. Um, and Eli Hirsch, uh, thank you so, so much. Um, I hope we get to talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. And, uh, just so before yeah, so widget says, thank you so much. Uh, pump, that pumpkin Corbin. That, <laughs> that's you guys. <laughs> um, uh, oh, uh, uh, Ryan says very nicely done. Great job to you both. Um, so uh, thank you, other like uh, uh, the developers of Sunk. Thank you guys for hanging out. It's so cool. Um, people supporting other people. 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and pop out of the Discord now and end stream and find someone to raid. Um, this has been awesome for me. Um, I, I love Spooktober, uh, like the second time that we've done this and looking forward to covering more. We're going to do another one of these on Wednesday. So if anybody's around and wants to join us, uh, we already have a couple lined up. So I uh, can't wait to do this again next week. Exciting. Thank you so much again. Thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. Take Amazing. it easy and we'll uh we'll go we'll go end the stream now and 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 uh, and raid. Have a good night. You too. Good night. Good night. <laughs>